Hi everyone, this is Cindy Losekamp here from So Artfully Yours and I'm doing a little video to show you some of the samples, the patterns, and some of the things that I have that I'd like uh, for you to be able to see. And so we're going to start using um, these, this product called Angelina Film. Every one of the samples that I have today uses Angelina Film. A lot of you may think that it is Mylar, but it is not. It is Angelina Film and it's so much better and it comes in three packs and there are six different ones like this and they are there's a yard of each color in uh, of each one and so that means there's three yards in this packet and this is the packet that has there's 18 colors that's all it comes in and you get a yard of each one so you can find these things on my website which would be um, sewingart.com and so now we're gonna start with the little trunk show here this is from a packet called Delicate Sprays. And uh, then I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you this jacket. I'm gonna pick it up off the table and let you look at it. And I do wanna tell you that the, the patterns for the jackets and the shirts and the quilts all come in with the design collection. And so you're going to see the sparkle and here's one that's really nice. This is a, um, a little flower and you can see that it's got some gold accents and some the cow lilies and things like that. And this one again is called Delicate Sprays. I've got a t-shirt here that I put this design on. And so here we go. And so if you have a larger hoop, you can see that you can do um, a very, very nice uh, embellished t-shirt. So I'm gonna lay these off to the side and then I'm gonna pick up a few more things here. So let's see. This one is just a simple little collection and this one is called, look at it right here quick. This one's called Angelina Designs. And in here you get um, 13 designs and you also get a whole bunch of beautiful dragonflies which are not on here and I apologize for that, it just dawned on me. But uh, this little quilt looks like it's all made in one piece, but I cheated. These are each a separate little piece, and then I pieced them together and I stitched them and so to make it look like it was all one piece. But these all utilize the Angelina film, so I'm going to put that one back, and then we're going to go on with this next one. This is one of my favorites. This one's called Who Let the Dogs Out? And I don't know if you remember that song from uh, several years ago, but uh, it's so cute. And the little dogs have sparkles in them and um, the Angelina film. And then I'm going to turn this around and I'll show you the design packet here. So this is the Who Let the Dogs Out. And the words and everything are in there. Um, so... Um, so anyway, I just think they're adorable and I wanted you to see this one. So that one's called Who Let the Dogs Out? And again, the directions on how to do the jacket and everything are in there. And so now we have some more designs here to show you. This one is called In the Wind. And if I can ever get it, I'll hold it up for you to see the whole jacket. And then I'll turn it around so you can see the back. And I did cut the jacket apart so I could add uh, embroidery to the sleeves. And then we'll go ahead and just, here's another one. And I added crystals in there for hot fix crystals for their eyes and the Angelina film is in each one of them. And I'll set this down and let you see the design packet. So that is the design. now. What this is all about is a, let me see, I'm going to put the jacket back and then I can show you something else. Let's look at this one. This is a little wall hanging and the instructions are in there to make this. And um, I don't know if you can see all of that, but it's just a little three panel. It could be a table runner or a wall hanging, whatever you want to use it for. But I wanted to tell you that this design packet comes with the designs in three different ways. You can do them as applique, regular fabric. You don't have to have the Angelina film. You can also do them in red work. So it would just be outlines. And then this is something really neat. 
Let me get it off of the hanger here. This is one of the red work designs stitched out using heavy bobbin thread. And it's very, very textural. I hope you can see that on the, on the video. But um, this has been used, one of the red work designs, which means there's no fabric, extra fabric in there. It's just thread. But you don't always have to do it like this. You can just use a really pretty uh, heavy red thread, maybe a 30 weight um, blendable from, um, from Sulky or a 30 weight cotton from Sulky. So uh, it's just, but this one was done with heavy bobbin thread and that is um, something from Superior Threads called Razzle Dazzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and I'll set that over there in the pattern and then I'm gonna hang this up and we'll go ahead and do another one. All right, and so let's see. I have one here. This one is called Whimsy Magic, and I've got four samples to show you. Let's see, I wanna show you one of them first. Okay, so this is a little jacket, and here's the pattern envelope. And I'll put that right there. You've got some absolutely gorgeous designs, uh, very feminine, and you can use them with the, um, with the Angelina film. You can also use them with plain fabric. And I'm going to show you a couple of different designs. Now, this one, this one I used a sheer metallic fabric in the center. And then I thought that turned out really, really nice. And then, um, and again, the jacket directions are in there for you to be able to use. And on this jacket, I used metallic threads as my accent swirls. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one back. And then we'll look at the other two. Um, a couple of years ago, I was commissioned to do a uh, uh, pattern, uh, excuse me, an article in Creative Machine uh, Embroidery Magazine, and it was all about uh, embroidering on jeans, and this was one of the ones that was in the magazine, and it's from the Quimsy Magic Design Collection. And then this one is a vest that was purchased at a thrift store for 50 cents. And I, it had a real heavy bottom on it and I cut off the big uh, heavy uh, band off the bottom and added vintage linens and some actually some new lace as well. And then I used the uh, corners of some of the doilies to add, add to the top of this. And basically I just turned under the edge and top stitched it on. And then I added the embroidery. And then on the back, I took another piece of one of the embroideries and I actually embroidered all the way through the, the vest and um, but it's actually on there I'll just lift it up so you can see it's free to a certain point but then it actually is secured but this one has the Angelina film in it and I don't know if um, you can see it but it sparkles so beautiful and the one thing that's huge a huge difference between this and mylar is the fact that this can be washed and washed and washed and dried and never falls out it doesn't change colors you will be amazed and um, so this one is a small design right here and it was added in there three times as to make that beautiful uh, uh, front of a t-shirt so and in here uh, I've got the Angelina film so all right so that is uh, that is Whimsy Magic. So I'm going to set that one back up here. And I'm going to go on with another one. This one is more of a children's design set. This is called Kids Angelina Designs. And they're just precious. And you can use the film in them, but you don't have to. You can use them as regular applique. And I want to show you, they come in multiple sizes and the way I'm going to show that is here's a little quilt and um, I did this one the same way I pieced it I didn't um, I wasn't trying to be careful on my positioning I did it on little squares and then I stitched them together and then I did a piecing look but right up here on the corner we've got four by four designs in here and this is the four by four and here, this one is quite a bit larger. I'm thinking it's the six by nine or something like that, but um, it's the same exact design. And so, but there are some precious designs on there. So they come in multiple sizes for you. So that one is called 
Kids Angelina Designs. And I've got one more here to show you from that. And this one is one of those little designs and I used the Angelina film in the wing, but then I've used um, glitter fabric in here. And um, I'm probably gonna be teaching a class on that with the original Sewing and Quilt Expo. But um, anyway, you can use a regular fabric too. You don't really have to have anything special, but they're so pretty when they're like that. So I'm gonna hang that one back up and we're gonna get some more. All right. And for any of you who are interested, I teach a class on how to become a master hooper. And um, you'll notice that I have, I'm fussy positioning on all of these different designs. This one is called Crystal Poinsettias. And in there, I have them in full satin stitch, and they're just, they stitch out absolutely gorgeous. And I know it's not Christmas time, but that's okay. And then you have in there the option for doing um, your Angelina film. But then you also could use, just use regular fabric if you'd like. Um, and of course, the designs come in the, excuse me, the jacket directions come in the packet. And I've used some very nice large crystals on the uh, poinsettia center. So, so that one's called crystal poinsettia. So I'll hang that one back up and we'll get some more. All right. So this one is called, we're going to stick with the children's for a moment. This one is called Sea Sweeties, and I've got them all mixed up here. But here's the little quilt, and I've used Minky on the back and um, turned it in. And actually, it's a, it's a form of Minky on the front. And so you can see there are several pieces here. Let me get this over a little bit. That are big, and I don't know if you remember back to our Angelina film, which now I don't know where I put it, but it only is four inches wide. And so I had to piece these pieces together using, you, you use an Angelina pressing sheet and your iron, and you overlay them by about an eighth of an inch, and then you press them, and it gives you a much bigger piece. So you don't worry that it doesn't come in a wide uh, strip. It's just fine. It works beautifully. It bonds to itself. You don't have to use anything to bond to it or anything. So I'm hoping you got a good look at that one. I'm going to go ahead and hang that one back up, and then we'll show you the rest of them from that collection. Okay, so here is the little packet. This is called Sea Sweeties. And I'll set that over there. And here's a pair of little jeans. Now these were little boys jeans and uh, guess what? They're not anymore. <laughs> so, uh, and on here, I, I uh, see I never take apart the uh, felt flat fell seam. I always go from the inside. So I ripped that up and then I did the embroidery on there. And you can see it's got a lot of beautiful sparkle and the little pockets. And in the directions, I always give you my tips and hints for how to do pockets. And yes, it's still a pocket. People always want to come up and see if I sewed through the whole thing, but I didn't. I sewed, I took the pocket down and then I re-sewed it on. And it's on a little t-shirt as well. And then of course, I have to put something on the back so you know people can see you coming and going and then we've got a little t-shirt here and this one is um, for one of my grandsons who is now uh, 12 and he's way too big he wears a large men's now and this one is a medium kid so I guess he's not gonna get this shirt <laughs> so anyway and here is a, a little cute one I've got some real cute ones and the little words are in there and you know how sometimes you just can't remember something and you go whoops brain something. <laughs> well, I decided it would be really cute on a bib because, you know, babies are always making messes. So I just thought that was adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and hang those up and we're going to keep going. We've got a few more to do here. And all right, so here we go. Now we're going to go jump back to the ladies, uh, the adults. So this one is called Dragonfly Sparkles. Let me get the pattern off of there and lay it down so you can see. But this one's called Dragonfly Sparkles. And what I'm going to do here, this was a regular t-shirt, sweatshirt, excuse me, and I cut it up the middle and I give you instructions on how to do this. And um, then I put some on the sleeve 
and you can see that they have the Angelina film in there and they're sparkly and then I had to put one on the back as well um, so that you could see that so um, but that one is called Dragonfly Sparkles and I have it on a t-shirt here also so if you look you've got some gorgeous dragonflies some beautiful flowers and some swirly designs and I give all of this to you separately in case you want to add a little swirl to the corner of a sleeve or something like that so it's all broken up very nicely for you so I'm going to go ahead and hang these up and we'll go ahead and I apologize I guess this is going to be kind of a long video but anyway <laughs> you're getting to see a lot of pretty things okay this one is called cupcakes aplenty and I've got this on several different little design design or garments here and little things. So this one's called Cupcakes of Plenty. And of course, all the words are in there and they're in there in all kinds of different sizes and everything's separate. So I'm gonna set that over here and we'll look at the jacket first. And so I just think this is the cutest jacket. And I took a jack sweatshirt apart and turned it into this adorable little jacket and put the little ruffles. I used my um, ruffler, the attachment to make those beautiful ruffles. So anyway, my favorite one is once you lick the frosting off a cupcake, it becomes a muffin and muffins are healthy. You're welcome. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. So then we'll look at these. You can put them on a burp cloth. Um, you can put them on a hand towel, a tea towel. You can put it on a little girl's dress. And then we've got a t-shirt here. And it says, of course, so everyone loves me. I'm a cupcake. That was done with my granddaughter, Sophia, in mind. She walks into a room and owns it. <laughs> so um, anyway, we will go ahead and put those up and go on to our next one. I know your head is swimming about now, but um, that's okay you can watch the video more than one time. So what we have now is called Royal Rhapsody. And I've got three garments here to show you. And so I'll stop wiggling it around and let you see. We have four by four all the way up to very large hoops. And so we'll set that one off to the side. So this one's called Royal Rhapsody. And you're gonna see that I utilize the Angelina film in all these different designs. And they're just, they're beautiful and sparkly. And to know that you can wash it and wear it and not be concerned that it's gonna fall apart. And then we've got this beautiful one on the back here. So we'll go ahead and then we'll look at some more. I need to get rid of that pattern before it ends up on the floor. Okay, so this, I love this. This was a sweater that was actually a pull-on v-neck sweater. I got it in a thrift store and I loved it because of the gold flex throughout. And I put, actually made, turned it into a cardigan using grow grain ribbon. And I want you to know this, this sweater is terribly stretchy. I mean, it's stretchy. And I, look how beautiful those embroideries lay. You see, it, it, I have these magic methods and the master becoming a master hooper class is Monday. You might still be able to sign up, but I wanna tell you, I'll be giving that periodically throughout the year, uh, probably every three or four months. So keep that in mind. You go to sewingexpo.com and they have, uh, you can click on online classes and see various things that they do. They've got lovely classes. And the best part about it is that you have access to the class for one whole year. And so it's a wonderful thing. And this is just another jacket that we actually made in a class one time. Um, and that's from the Royal Rhapsody. All right, so I'm gonna put those back. And guess what? I'm still not done. You won't believe this. <laughs> I guess I have too much stuff. <laughs> But that's okay. What I'm going to do here is show you this one is called Stay Positive. And you can see I've got kitty cats and words. And right here, there's kitty cats with Angelina film in them. And then here is a kitty cat with applique fabric. And then over here on this side, there are kitty cats that are completely filled. You don't have to be making, you don't have to purchase multiple designs collections. They're all in the same one. And so here's the back and the directions to make the jacket are in there as well. Now, you're not gonna find these on my website because I apologize, I am, I still haven't got it updated. But I wanna tell you something. 
you can, I will put my phone number, I will put my email and my website above this video and you can contact me. And if I know you watch the video, I'm going to give you some special pricing. So uh, if you want something, just let me know and I will get it to you. All right. And just so you know, I can send you a PayPal invoice if you'd like, um, or you can give me a card number to run. Okay, so this one is called Sparkly and Sweet Monsters. They're not really monsters, but let me just show them to you. This is a little quilt, and of course the directions come in the packet for the quilt, and also all the stippling comes in, the different designs, so you're gonna see that they come in film, and they also come in regular fill where you just have full stitching. And I've got this on a couple of different uh, items here. And this is on a little bitty sweatshirt. And it's so cute on the back. And then we've got it on a little, now this Zachary, now he is, um, I've had this sample a while. He, <laughs> he is um, 14, I believe. So, um, or he will be shortly at the end of this month, he will be. So. I don't know how they got so old. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right. I don't have too many more to go, but I am going to keep going and show you this. This is a little, these are called the dinosaur, darling dinosaurs. And boy, dinosaurs are hot. And you can do these uh, with fill, completely filled, or you can do them with the Angelina film. And you can do them with um, just applique fabric if you just want to use regular applique. So, and the quilt block comes in there as well and the directions to make the quilt. And I want to show you this little shirt. Little grandson, Asher, he's going to be eight shortly. Um, this, just to show you how well this stuff washes. You can tell the shirt's been abused, used, loved. It's, it's been through the ringer for several times, many, many, many months. But anyway, he outgrew the shirt, so I had to make another one, and we traded. I gave him a new shirt, and he gave me the old one. But I wanted you to see how awful the shirt looks, but how good the Angelina film looks. It's just an amazing product, and we're very proud that we are um, the sole distributor of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this one. This is a new pattern. This one is called Romantic Lace. And um, so you don't really make lace in here, but what you get are some absolutely gorgeous designs. The jacket instructions are in there. And I wanted to tell you, you get a panel, you get the instructions to make a panel in the back, and it doesn't have to be lace, it can be fabric. But these are gorgeous designs. They're birds, and you have them with birds and without birds. You don't always have to have a bird if you're not a bird person, but they have places for the Angelina film. And I'm gonna lay that one down, and I'm gonna show you this one. You can put these on little tea towels. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and pull off the packet and let you see what that looks like. But it's called Romantic Lace, and I'll t put that one over there. And then I want to show you this one. This one is a combination of two design collections. This is from the Romantic Lace, but the uh, saying here is from a, pa a packet that I have called Inspiration. So I'm gonna hang these back up and then I'll show you that one next. All right, and so here we go. Got three samples for that one. Believe it or not, we're almost done. Okay, so what I want you to see here is this one is called Inspirations and in the sun up here, I've used the Angelina film. I'm hoping you can see it sparkle. And in here, in this banner, I use the Angelina film. You could just use regular fabric or nothing if you, do, if you don't want to put it in there. But anyway, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous designs and um, all faith-based. And then here is another one. You can put it on a beautiful tea towel. And that one has the Angelina film in there. And like I said, you don't have to put anything in there. You can just let the tea towels show through. But this is what the packet looks like. And it's called Inspirations. And you don't, you get a whole lot of designs. And I don't remember how many. Oh, 41 designs in three sizes. So, um, all right. So I'm going to hang that one up. Oh, I forgot to show you the t-shirt. Let me show you that. 
I love this one. <laughs> it says, all I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. And so it's my very favorite one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back. And I'm going to show you the next one, which is called uh, Mystic Mermaids. And so this is the packet. I'll take that off. And here's what it looks like. And it's got some gorgeous little uh, mermaids in there. And I put them on a little quilt. Um, and the, the little units, if you have a large hoop, these are all in there, all put together for you. The two sides, one's left side and right side. Um, but it's a, a really fun little project. So I'm going to hang that one back up. But then I want to show you a couple more here. I put it on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, excuse me. And this one says, a mermaid always has a song in her heart. And so, but their hair is so beautiful. And then... Here is a little jacket, a little sweatshirt jacket. And I didn't do this. I didn't dye it. Or, I found this just like this. Um, but I put the zipper in it. But other than that, it was just like that. And then I put the designs on there. So, all right. So I'm going to hang those up. And I think we've only got two more sets and then we're done. So here we go. This one is called Off the Edge Cutwork Needle Lace. I know it has a big, long name. Uh, but this is what the packet looks like, and I'm going to put that over there, and this is really neat because, look, the designs, now they're specially digitized. You can't just do this with any design. They're specially digitized for this, and I put the Angelina film in the um, leaves there, and then here is another one, and it is a uh, sticking up off the edge, as you can see, and then I have some jeans so just so you can see, you can do it so that it's off the edge, or you can do it so that it, I put these, this, this was in the article with uh, how to embroider on jeans. And so, um, and these you can have lace uh, sections on this one. So it's a really, really nice collection and it's uh, very exciting to see how it turns out. Then I think, I, I think I'm on the very last one. Let's see, okay, here we go. This one is called Wings and Things. And here's what the packet looks like. And then I'll just flip that around. But there's 100, 108 designs in there. And they're for all sizes, small to large hoops. And um, this is another uh, embroidery design. And each one of these is an embroidery design. That means that it does an app, the applique with regular fabric. And then it puts this beautiful wavy stitch around the edge and the beautiful butterfly and using the, utilizing the film throughout. So I'm going to hang that one back up. And then I've got a t-shirt to show you. And this one I did a little bit of coloring with some watercolors and then I put the uh, little uh, butterfly on there. And then I will show you a couple more. This is a jacket and the instructions are in there on how to do this. And this one I used um, some fabric and then the center that I cut out, I'll put that down a little bit, I used as uh, the applique. So you can do it like this in applique. You can do it with film. And this goes all the way around, so I'll go ahead and, and turn that around. And in this packet, you also get my binding methods and everything. And here is, I decided to end with this one because I thought this one was just such a cute jacket. And I just scattered, it's a sweatshirt, and I scattered designs all over it. And um, then I added the fringe on the bottom. You can find things like this in the uh, home deck section of your store, Hobby Lobby or whatever. And then I added some more embroideries on the back there. So this one is called Wings and Things. And I just want to tell you thank you. If you're still here, I just want to tell you thank you for taking time out of your busy life to watch my little video. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful and glorious day. And I want you to always remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's Philip's. That's Philippians 4, 13. I thank you so much. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.